Hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited because this is the first time that I have ever made a Zoom presentation or a Zoom video. So um, I'm excited to try this out. And more than that, I'm excited about this particular class that I'm teaching because it is something that has really, really um, helped me in such an awesome way, which I will share about in just a moment. So as you can see, um, hopefully you can see my screen. I'm sharing my Google Slides presentation. It says natural living with plant-based products, affordable ways to ditch the chemicals and switch to nature. And guys, this is something that I'm super passionate about and something that, as I've just mentioned, has helped me so much. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of my story with this kind of subject. So, um, you know, gr sorry to switch back and forth. Growing up, I, um, like pretty much everyone else, just used your normal like store-bought stuff, like store-bought um, cleaners, store-bought soaps, shampoos, conditioners you know, just your basic stuff that you find um, wherever you get those products, you know, whether you get them at the grocery store or at like CVS or Walgreens. So then around 2014, um, I heard about essential oils. And the way I heard about them was from a co-worker of my husband's. So she um, used essential oils and she gave us like a, a little sample of her oils and so we um, you know we tried them out and those oils were not Young Living oils and then um, from there we just kind of wanted to find out more about what essential oils are and um, so we ended up like getting some oils from the internet. So, and at that point, I started like finding out that people like to use essential oils for homemade cleaning stuff. So, and I'm kind of remembering, like, I think I used them in this like concoction for like mop water, like with vinegar and some oils and stuff. So I started doing that. Then around 2016, I believe, um, is when I finally heard about Young Living. So my, um, a couple of my relatives had been using Young Living for a while and they had loved it so much and they told my mom about it and then she used Young Living oils, she loved them. Then that's when she told me about it and she even like gave me a bunch of Young Living oils so that I could try them. So what I found out about Young Living oils is that um, they are super duper pure, and I will be talking more about that later on in this presentation. Um, they are extremely high quality. They are even better than organic. They like encompass all of what organic, like healthy, no chemicals, all that stuff. And they even go beyond that. Um, and um, let me tell you specifically what I used them for and what really like made me go, wow, that's amazing. So at the time back then, I had this really weird thing on my finger. If you have seen a couple of my videos, you have heard me mention this, but I just really want to mention it because it is something that like started me down this journey that has helped me so much. So like basically I had this weird cut on my finger and it would not heal. I tried Neosporin and a Band-Aid over it. I put a Neosporin and a Band-Aid on my finger every day and it just like never got any better. Then finally, once my mom told me about the oils and I started learning about them and how to use them and stuff, um, I heard that frankincense and lavender were good for the skin. So I thought to myself, let me just go ahead and like try this on my finger and see what happens. So I did, I started putting frankincense and lavender on my finger and I do not remember how long it was, but obviously it was much faster than what I was doing before with the Neosporin and Band-Aid. Um, and like now my finger is completely better and normal and I'm so thankful about that. 
Um, let's see, what else? Also, another thing was I used to have chronic bronchitis and this started when I was in college. And, um, and so I wanna say around 2010 or so um, is when I started like having this bronchitis that just kept on coming back and just I could not be free of it for a long period of time you know it just like kept on reoccurring for over and over for years like at least five years probably six or seven years what is like what I'm remembering um so I think what has really, really helped me to get over that, because now I haven't had that in a long time. It's been at least a year, I want to say, that I have not um, had that bronchitis flare up. So I think that what has helped me with that is some specific oils from Young Living that are really good for my immune system, like the, our Thieves blend of essential oil. And also the fact that I have switched out these um, products, like I mentioned earlier, you know, store-bought products like um, cleaners and shampoos and stuff and lotions, soaps, um, because you'll find out in just a moment, I'm going to talk about how the, those things are filled with actual chemicals that are not good for us, that are bad for us. And I'm showing you like reputable websites that go come right out and say, um, don't use air fresheners because, and I'm gonna share the reasons. So um, <clears throat> anyway, guys, once I ditched those toxins and started using good stuff, natural stuff made from nature, I, that has, I think that has helped my immune system a lot as well. And um, sometimes we kind of forget that our bodies, um, even though there are all these different systems in our bodies, they all work together. They're all dependent on each other. So if you strengthen one system, you're strengthening the whole body, you know, and it kind of builds on itself. So um, I think all of that together has really helped me so much. So guys, let me go ahead and start talking about toxins and why our stuff has top like and when i say are i mean like people i don't know <laughs> like just your average person why the average person's like cleaners and shampoos and stuff has toxins in them okay this is the, from the american lung association and I got to this site just by Googling dangers of household cleaners or chemicals in household cleaners. I kind of forget exactly what. Okay, so let me read this little note that I have here at the bottom. In today's world, some of the most dangerous things that affect our health are things that we willing, willingly expose ourselves to on the daily. And some of these things might not be what you expect. In fact, you might be completely oblivious to the fact that the products we use on ourselves, in our homes, on our children, and in our everyday lives could be the very things that are contributing to why we're sick, why we have health problems, why we struggle emotionally, and why we are not living a life Full of like wellness. So um, as you can see on this website, the title of this little article is Cleaning Supplies and Household Chemicals. Um, I just want to highlight these sentences that I underlined here. Um, it says, however, household and cleaning products, including soaps, polishes, and grooming supplies, often include harmful chemicals. Even products advertised as green or natural may contain ingredients that can cause health problems. Some cleaning supplies can even be flammable or corrosive. Okay, um, so, I think that's super important, especially that sentence, um, even products advertised as green or natural may contain ingredients that can cause health problems. So we really need to be aware of what is in these products that we are using. You know, when we spray our cleaners, we're inhaling that into our lungs and it does affect us. When we put our lotions on or our soaps on, um, those chemicals are seeping into our bodies. Next, um, this is further down the page. 
How can cleaning supplies, household products affect health? Many cleaning supplies or household products can irritate the eyes or throat or cause headaches and other health problems, including cancer. Some products release dangerous chemicals, including volatile organic compounds. So I'm gonna talk about that more in a moment. Um, other harmful ingredients including um, include ammonia and bleach. Even natural fragrances such as citrus can react to dangerous pollutants, can react to produce dangerous pollutants indoors. I'm gonna talk about natural fragrances in a moment. Um, all right. VOCs and other chemicals released when using cleaning supplies contribute to chronic respiratory problems, allergic reactions, and headaches. Studies are underway to assess how these chemicals affect people who have asthma and other respiratory illnesses. However, past studies link exposure to chemicals from cleaning supplies to occupational asthma and other respiratory illnesses. Cleaning supplies and household products containing VOCs and other toxic substances can include, but are not limited to, aerosol spray products, including health beauty and cleaning products, air fresheners, chlorine bleach, detergent and dishwashing liquid, dry cleaning chemicals, rug and upholstery cleaners. And now I'm going on to scroll, basically scroll down, but what I did was I took a screenshot and included the screenshot in um, this presentation. Okay, so further down that page, Let's see, okay, I'm gonna read this paragraph that's at the top. Never mix bleach or any bleach containing product with any cleaner containing ammonia. The, glasses, the gases created from this combination can lead to chronic breathing problems and even death. Recent research has found that even natural fragrances in cleaning products, particularly in air fresheners, may react with high levels of ozone from indoor so sources, for example, from some air cleaning devices, or from outdoor air to form formaldehyde, a known human carcinogen, and dangerous fine particles indoors. Ozone is a harmful but invisible gas that worsens asthma and other lung diseases. Particles are also common air pollutants that can worsen asthma and other lung diseases and risk heart attacks and stroke. Both ozone and particles can be life-threatening. How can you prevent harm from cleaning and household products? Read all labels on cleaning supplies and household products before you buy them. Choose products that do not contain or have reduced amounts of VOCs, fragrances, irritants, and flammable ingredients. Avoid using air fresheners altogether. Manufacturers are not obligated by US law to list all ingredients in consumer products. Products that are labeled green do not necessarily mean they are safer. Do a little research on the product from a reliable source. Um, all right, now moving on to another article because I wanted to find out more about what are volatile organic compounds because when we see that word organic, usually that makes us think of like healthy stuff, like the healthy vegetables at the grocery store. But in this context, volatile organic compounds, um, it just means that the compounds or chemicals may have come from something that used to be a living thing a long time ago, like how petroleum or motor oil was formed from the earth from the remains of animals that lived millions of years ago. And now that doesn't mean that I want to go and like inhale a bunch of like gases at when I'm fueling up my car, you know, or that I want to like go ahead and pour some of that on my skin. Obviously the opposite. So don't let this word um, organic, when it, when you see it in this phrase, volatile organic compounds, don't let it throw you. All right, so this is from the EPA, which is an official website of the United States government. The EPA is the United States Environmental Protection a Agency. This article is titled, Volatile Organic Compounds Impact on Indoor Air Quality. Okay, volatile organic compounds, VOCs, are emitted as gases from certain solids or liquids. VOCs include a variety of chemicals, some of which may have short and long-term adverse health effects. Concentrations of many VOCs are consistently higher indoors, up to 10 times higher than outdoors. That's important to note. Um, we wanna stay away from volatile organic compounds. 
Okay, VOCs are emitted by a wide array of products numbering in the thousands. Organic chemicals are widely used as ingredients in household products. Paints, varnishes, and wax all contain organic solvents, as do many cleaning, disinfecting, cosmetic, degreasing, and hobby products. Fuels are made up of organic chemicals. All of these products can release organic compounds while you are using them and to some degree when they are stored. EPA's Office of Research and Development's Total Exposure Assessment Methodology, or TEAM, study found levels of about a dozen comic common organic pollutants to be two to five times higher inside homes than outside, regardless of whether the homes were located in rural or highly industrial areas. Team studies indicated that while people are using products containing organic chemicals, they can expose themselves and others to very high pollutant levels and elevated concentrations can persist in the air long after the activity is completed. So guys, it's important that we know this stuff. So I don't know about you, but when I um, see these facts, it makes me just realize that I need to be aware of what I'm using in my home to clean my home, what I'm using on my skin. I need to be aware of what is in these products that I'm using. I do not want to use stuff that has like these dangerous chemicals in them. Okay, look at this list of sources of VOCs. Household products including paints, paint strippers and other solvents, wood preservatives, aerosol sprays, cleaners and disinfectants, moth repellents and air fresheners, stored fuels and automotive products, hobby supplies, dry clean clothing, pesticide. All right, moving on, this is further down the page. Health effects. Health effects may include eye, nose, and throat irritation, headaches, loss of coordination and nausea, damage to liver, kidney, and central nervous system. That one is important. Some organics can cause cancer in animals. Some are suspected or known to cause cancer in humans. Key signs or symptoms associated with exposure to VOCs include conjunctive conjunctival irritation, nose and throat discomfort, headache, allergic skin reaction, dyspnea, declines in serum cholinesterase levels, nausea, emesis, I don't know what some of these things are guys, but I don't think I want to know. Nausea, nausea, emesis, epistaxis, fatigue, dizziness. The ability of organic chemicals to cause health effects varies greatly from those that are highly toxic to those with no known health effect. As with other pollutants, the extent and nature of the health effect will depend on many factors, including the level of exposure and length of time exposed. Among the immediate symptoms that some people have experienced soon after exposure to some organics include eye and respiratory tract irritation. And then I just like my screenshot didn't capture the rest of that. Um, okay guys, so I'm moving on. Here are some facts about products from the store. Um, store-bought soaps contain sodium laureth sulfate, a toxic chemical used to remove car grease off garage floors. This can be damaging to the skin as well as disruptive to immune health and hormonal health. Both adult and kid shampoos, shampoos contain phthalates, a toxic chemical that has been banned in children's toys but is still found in body cleansing products. It is known to be an endocrine disruptor and very hard for the body to break down when used consistently during bath time. The main ingredient in candles and home sprays is formaldehyde, which is the number one causing cancer-causing chemical and is what we get embalmed with at the morgue. They say that inhaling scents from candles or sprays is the equivalent to inhaling secondhand smoke, which is even more dangerous than actually smoking the cigarette itself. Store-bought household cleaning products contain 2-butoxyethanol, which is a toxin known to cause sore throat, narcosis, and severe liver and kidney damage. We do not want to harm our liver and kidneys. Store-bought laundry detergents and dryer sheets contain alpha terpineol and benzyl alcohol, which are toxic ingredients that cause central nervous system disorders, loss of muscular coordination, central nervous system depression, headaches, nausea, and vomiting. Many baby products contain the listed ingredient fragrance, and not even just baby products, because it's actually basically any, prod any product that has like a smell to it like like a nice citrus breeze or flowery 
waft or fresh linen, you know, um, <clears throat> they all contain fragrance. You look at that list of ingredients, you'll see the word fragrance on it. Fragrance is simply a broad category that hides hundreds of toxic chemicals behind the word itself. Companies are not required to reveal the actual chemicals that are within the fragrance category, hence keeping the public in the dark about the true toxicity of the products that we use on our little ones and on ourselves. So we really have to be educated and aware of what's in this stuff. We need to stay away from fragrance. Um, these are like beauty products and stuff. And here's are some chemicals that are in our beauty products. Women apply over 300 chemicals to their face and skin per day, including talc, bismuth, parabens, lead, mercury, and mineral oil. These chemicals are all found in store-bought skincare and makeup products, which can disrupt the endocrine system, are highly carcinogenic, and have even been found in tumors. We want to stay away from these things. So when I saw this list, I was thinking about mineral oil because I know that minerals are good things like um, minerals are stuff that we need. So um, I was thinking mineral oil has to be different. Like why do they call it mineral oil? And so I Googled mineral oil and I found this chemicalsafetyfacts.org. Mineral oil is a clear odorless liquid and a common ingredient in a variety of cosmetics and personal care products. Mineral oil is made from highly refined, purified and processed petroleum. So, it's petroleum is the same stuff that gasoline and plastics are made from. So it's not good. We wanna stay away from that. I wanna talk about bioaccumulation. When we use these products on ourselves and on our children on a daily basis, the toxins build up and accumulate within our bodies, a process called bioaccumulation. This means that the more we expose ourselves to, to these toxins, the harder it is for our bodies to break them down. Because of this buildup, it causes both minor and major health issues that otherwise could be prevented if we simply quit using these toxins. Even if these issues aren't apparent right now, they will be apparent later on down the road. Another important thing to know is that some of the most popular organic products still contain some of the ingredients above. Even if you think you're making a better decision about going organic instead of conventional, there is still a probability that your organic product is still highly toxic for yourself or your little ones. If you don't believe me, visit the Environmental Working Group website at ewg.org, plug in the ingredients of your products and see how high it is rated in toxicity. Or download the Think Dirty app on your smartphone and look at the toxicity levels. The results will shock you and will make you want to throw those products in the trash. I want to talk about um, what if you see a product at the store that is advertised as like being natural and safe and it includes essential oils which um, would really essential oils are the only way to have a truly actual natural fragrance instead of that label of fragrance that's on the list. So, oops, okay. Some natural products like detergents, soaps, etc., will advertise that they are made with essential oils for a natural scent. But does the company who made the product own their own farms and distilleries? In almost all cases, the answer is a huge no. That means that that company gets their essential oils from someone else. Any essential oil that you find that is cheap or inexpensive is most likely that way because it contains very little actual essential oil in it. The bottle can contain only five to 10% pure essential oil and the rest can be synthetic or filler. In contrast, Young Living does own their own farms and distilleries. They have a rigorous process to ensure that the products they provide to us are the best, most natural, and most potent available. They have an open door policy at their farms and distilleries so that everyone can see that they do what they say they do. This is quite the opposite of basically every other essential oil company out there. 
Now that I've effectively freaked you out, let me begin by saying that there is no judgment here. I used to use those products myself all the time on myself and my family. But once I educated myself on the toxicity of what I was using in my home, and once I ditched and switched over to plant-based products, my life changed forever. And I began to experience more wellness in my life. And because I've seen such amazing changes, I felt it necessary to educate you on these invisible toxins in your home too. So you might be thinking, what can I use instead? The only company that I trust that has products with none of the chemicals that I've mentioned that is even better than the organic label and that only contains the purest of plant-based ingredients is Young Living. While they are an essential oil company, they are also a fully equipped natural products company. They have supplements, beauty products, household cleaning products, stuff for kids and babies, home purifiers, bath and shower products, oral care, and yes, even makeup. This makes it easy to simply ditch the products that you're currently using and replace it with something Young Living has instead. It is your one-stop shop for all the things you will need for yourself, your home, for your children, and for your health. Take a look at this list. This is a comparison of the USDA organic certified label versus Young Living's seed to seal process. Before I read this list to you, I wanna mention for over 21 years, um, now it's over 25, it's like going on 26 years really, because they officially started, Young Living officially started in 1994. Young Living has been the world leader in producing and guaranteeing 100% pure and potent therapeutic grade essential oils and plant-based products. They've got this standard called Seed to Seal, which places them in a category higher than any other company in the world. Basically what Seed to Seal means is that from the time the seed of the plant is sourced until it is put into an essential oil bottle, or a plant-based product, Young Living applies the most rigorous quality controls possible to ensure that you are receiving the product exactly the way nature intended it to be. Simply put, the only thing inside the essential oil bottle is the plant itself. No additives, fillers, synthetic fragrances, pre preservatives, or dyes, which is not the same for store-bought essential oils, hence why other brands are dangerous and highly toxic. The same goes for all of Young Living's products. The only ingredients within the the products are the ones listed on the label and they are all plant-based. Not one single ingredient is synthetic, toxic, or chemically derived. So let's look at this list now, USDA Organic Certified versus Young Living Seed to Seal. With organic, 5% non-organic material is allowed. With seed to seal, no pesticides or chemicals are permitted. With organic, it, the soil must be chemical free for seven years. With Young Living, they choose um, soil that has been chemical free for over 50 years. With organic, three years of growing before being eligible to meet standards. With Young Living, five years of growing before being eligible to meet standards. With organic, weeding is done by hand and approved synthetics and organic substances. But with Young Living, it is just by hand. There's not like, the weeds are taken out by hand. Okay, with organic, they may use approved synthetics for pests. With Young Living, they control pests with essential oils. With organic, um, there's continual testing of the soil only. With Young Living, there's continual testing of the water, soil, and air. With organic, they may use conventional seeds that are non-GMO, may, maybe, maybe not. With Young Living, no conventionally grown seeds. It's only non-GMO with Young Living. Um, with organic, 15 volunteers are the approval board staff. With Young Living, 50 trained scientists are on staff. With organic, there is no third-party testing required. With Young Living, third-party testing is required. So these are just some of the ways that Young Living proves that they are going the extra mile, that they are doing everything possible to provide us with the best product out there. I wanna debunk some myths now because a lot of people think that using natural and plant-based products can be expensive. 
Um, I'm going to quickly debunk this assumption by showing you how you're not only saving money using Young Living's plant-based products, you're saving your bodies too. Even if Young Living doesn't have a product you're thinking of that is already pre-made, you can make it yourself using their essential oils, which will save you tons of money and prevent toxin exposure too. Let's talk about the cost of healthcare. Think about this. What is the cost of tending to the health of yourself or someone in your family? How much money do you spend every month for every doctor visit or pharmacy run? Even if you have good insurance, did you have to take off work during those situations? Was it stressful? Did it waste valuable time from actually living a life of wellness and happiness? Let's start shifting that paradigm and thinking about the value of taking care of your family. Have you ever heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? We can stop treating symptoms and start supporting systems by investing in our health, eliminating toxins and chemicals in our life and flooding the body with nutrients and plant-based ingredients instead. While I am definitely not saying that you should quit taking medications and going to the doctor because modern medicine is amazing and absolutely holds a vital place in this world. I am simply saying that there are essential oils and products that you could be using that will support a healthy body and maintain a level of ultimate wellness. And while I am not a doctor myself, we don't have to be medical professionals to make better decisions for our health and for the health of our families. I want to talk to you about five ways that you can totally afford Young Living products. Some people have a misconception of thinking that using Young Living products in their home and on their family is a new or added expense. Wrong, it's not. Um, instead, what it is, it's a shift in spending. Everyone spends money on products every day, every month, every year, whether the products are good for you or not. With this route, instead of going to the store for all of your products, you are getting them from Young Living instead. Here's the first way um, that Young Living is totally affordable. Number one, get a wholesale membership. This is the route that 99% of people go when they want to start using Young Living products. With this route, you get wholesale pricing on everything they have instead of retail pricing, which saves you 24% on every single item that they've got. All you need to do is order a starter kit of your choice and you'll automatically get access to wholesale pricing on anything you want to try. These are some of the um, starter kits that are available. Okay, I'm going to first show you this one here. This is the basic starter kit. It is $35 and it comes with a bottle of Stress Away essential oil, a little roller cap that you can put on if you want to, um, some natural thieves hand purifier, um, Thieves Mints, um, two packets of Ningxia Red, which is a really good supplement, and um, along with that, your wholesale membership. Okay, that is the um, least expensive option, the basic starter kit. Okay, from there, our next, our most popular starter kit is our premium starter kit with oils. I'm gonna talk more about this in a moment. I'm just mentioning it here. And then we also have our Thieves Premium Starter Kit. This is for cleaning. We have, I, I think I have two of the same exact picture. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, we have our Ningxia Red Premium Starter Kit and we have our CBD Premium Starter Kit. We also have until through the end of April, um, we have a Welcome Home Starter Kit that is also available. Okay, this is the second way that you can totally afford Young Living products is get on Essential Rewards. Another cool thing about Young Living is that they get give cash, sorry, they give cash back to frequent buyers. This is a super cool and totally optional program called Essential Rewards, which acts as a monthly box that you can customize and get shipped to you every month filled with products you are needing for your family or in your home. Over time, you can earn up to 25% back in points for your orders, and those points you can use toward getting products for free. With Essential Rewards, you can also take advantage of the free monthly promotions that Young Living has, cheaper shipping options, and the option to cancel at any time. So basically, Young Living pays you to order their products through this program. Name another store that will do that for you, none. 
This program also gives you a means of affordably ditching and switching, which can be a process to, to do. So one month you can order household cleaning products. The next month you can order beauty products. The next month you can order baby products or supplements or essential oils or makeup or whatever you need, so on and so forth. With all of these perks and benefits of the Essential Rewards program, it's only a minimum of 50 PV in products for each monthly box, which can be the equivalent of $50. Now, before you think that's a lot, it's totally not. We all spend well over $50 a month on products every single month. All this is, is a shifting that spending from the store to something natural instead. Young Living, Young Living even has some food items for like like five or six bucks each. Healthy gluten tolerable pasta made from einkorn wheat, which is an heirloom ancient grain. It, um, there's cereal, protein shakes, and meal replacement, meal replacement shakes. Even people with the most minimal budgets can do essential rewards. The third way uh, that you can totally afford Young Living is to get free products with Young Living's monthly promotions. This is a picture of um, February's monthly promotion. So on the first of every month, they have a new promotion. So beginning March 1st, which is the day after today when I'm recording this video, they're going to have a new monthly promotion, but it's going to be something like similarly awesome to what this is because it's always really good. Um, so I may have briefly mentioned this above when talking about essential rewards, but I'm gonna go into a little more depth now. Young Living has this cool tradition where they give away an assortment of products to, to members every month for free. For everyone who orders over a certain amount in a single order, Young Living will include some free products in the box for you. Normally, there are four different ordering tiers, 100, 190, 250, or 300. If you order over any of those amounts in one single order, they will automatically include the free monthly products, which could add up to hundreds of dollars in stuff that you didn't have to pay for. So guys, I just want to um, have you take a look at this. This is from February's um, promo items. So at the 400 PV tier, they gave away $292 in retail value of free stuff, like to anyone who ordered 400 PV. That's amazing. Um, even at the 100 PV level, they give you a good 15 milliliter bottle. Um, 15 milliliter bottles have 300 drops of essential oil in them. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, moving on. Um, this is kind of another way, but I just didn't add it in the five ways, you know, in my list. But I... I'm so thankful for this because I am on this as well. It is called YL Go and also YL Go Plus is another variation. Okay, so um, have you ever heard of Amazon Prime's free shipping program or do you, are you even like a part of it? Do you have Amazon Prime? Um, and I'm talking about the free shipping part of it. Um, YL Go is basically that. You pay one time and then you get all of your essential reward shipments for the year for free. Plus you get one extra one-time order for free as well. Um, so I want you to just take a little look at this picture of YL Go and the chart. One of my favorite things about YL Go is that the sh it's um, faster shipping and you it's for one thing it's a reduced cost because the average cost per shipment just regular shipping um is about seven dollars but with while go the average cost per shipment when you divide it by your 13 shipments you take the cost of while go divided by your 13 shipments you get about four dollars and 92 cents so you're saving money and not only are you saving money but you get your stuff faster. So with regular shipment, it takes five to 10 days. With while go, it takes only two to four days. That's pretty awesome. So and when you get while go plus, the cost is a little higher, but you get a lot more shipments. So um, what while go plus, um, you get your 12 essential reward shipments 
And also, you get 24 quick order shipments. So altogether, you get 36 shipments for the year. That, when you take the cost of Wild Go Plus, divide it by your 36 shipments, you get $3.58 per shipment. So again, saving you even more money. And again, your shipment time is gonna be like much faster than just normal. Okay, um, if you take a look at the next thing, the overnight shipping flat rate, this picture is kind of dated in just in that area because it did used to be $10 for overnight shipping, but now it's $20. So um, even so, $20, um, if you need something immediately, um, I know that overnight shipping for like other sources can be a lot more than $20. So I think it's cool that they have kept it pretty, you know, reasonable still. All right, guys, moving on. This is the fourth way that you can afford Young Living. Um, learn to dilute and or DIY, do it yourself. So this is one thing that I recently started doing with um, I recently got Thieves Laundry Soap and I learned by like watching these vid videos that um, people in my Young Living like upline have made and they've shown me how to dilute. And um, so anyway, basically you turn one bottle into three and it's just as effective. So I think that's awesome because it actually makes stuff even cheaper than from the store and it's much better for you. All right, you can always ask me for my dilution recipes for the hand soaps, laundry soap, and dish soap. I turn one bottle into at least three and this ends up being cheaper than store-bought soaps and detergents. Plus, it's much better for my hands and my whole body. Some people find even more ways to pinch pennies and reduce toxins in their home by creating DIY products with Young Living's essential oils and products. There are literally thousands upon thousands of recipes out there to create chemical-free options for yourself and your family. When you add Young Living's essential oils to your DIY products, the powerful plant properties will add natural fragrance, be soothing to the skin, act as a natural purifying agent and will support your overall health at the same time, all depending on what you're making. Basically, adding oils to your DIY recipes will make them even better for you than if you didn't add them at all. I wanna go back and um, something that I kind of forgot to mention with while go is that I really wanna help you guys because I know that using our Young Living stuff has helped me so much. So if there's anyone out there that's thinking that they really want to get started, they want their membership, they will, that um, if you're thinking that you really want to get a starter kit and you really want to get on essential rewards, um, but maybe you're thinking that the, you know, maybe you don't have enough money to get while go at the moment, or maybe you don't have enough money to pay for each shipment at the moment. I want to help you out with why I'll go. So just don't let that be a barrier for you. Okay, this is the fifth way of, um, of affording Young Living products. Share the love. Um, you can share Young Living with friends and get paid for their referral. When we say that Young Living literally pays you back, they not only do that when you order, they also do that whenever you refer friends. For every friend that you refer, if that friend creates a wholesale account and orders a premium starter kit like you did, you get $50. So if you refer three friends to Young Living, it could pay you back for the premium starter kit you initially purchased for yourself. Also, if you keep referring friends, it could get your monthly essential rewards ordered pay for too. That way you will never pay for your products. Talk about a money saver. What other companies deposit cash in your bank account for referring friends? None. And it doesn't stop with the initial like starter kit. Um, if you keep on sharing just how these things have helped you and educating and just helping out your friends, um, 
you will eventually start seeing like a nice paycheck coming your way from Young Living. I want to mention um, one of my relatives actually earns about $1,500 a month from Young Living. I think that is awesome. And the cool thing is like she's not salesy at all. She All she does is just like educate. That's really what we're all about, just education and just helping people. So guys, maybe you're thinking you're not sure of which to ditch and switch. <laughs> not sure of which products you wanna ditch and switch? Let's talk about them. Since Young Living basically has everything you'd ever want, want or need when it comes to products for your health, home, or family, it can seem overwhelming at first. So let's briefly break down some of these options for you, and you can decide for yourself which ones you are needing the most. All of these options are viewable online at the Young Living website when you create your wholesale account, and they can also be seen in the product guide too. Let's talk about essential oils. Look at this graphic for a mo moment. How concentrated are essential oils? It takes 75 lemons to make one 15 milliliter bottle of, of lemon oil. It takes 27 square feet of lavender to make one 15 milliliter bottle of lavender oil. It takes one pound of raw peppermint material to make one 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint oil so they are very concentrated and powerful and essential oil is the immune system of the plant and it works perfectly to support the human body too to extract these oils from their original plant material they are distilled or cold pressed and then put into a bottle for our use um, for reference uh, for these this graphic i want to mention Every 15 milliliter bottle of a Young Living essential oil has about 270 to 300 drops of essential oil in it. Our five milliliter bottles of essential oil have about 90 to 100 drops of essential oil. And in most cases, you just need one drop per application of oil. For example, rub one drop of Panaway on the back of your neck when you're having some, like a neck ache or put one drop of lemon in your water. Um, and of course, you wanna use glass or stainless steel or a ceramic cup whenever you're using essential oils. Here is a little more about our most popular premium starter kit. So it comes with 12 super duper awesome oils and a really good diffuser, which I'm gonna mention more about. And um, plus your wholesale membership, and if you were to purchase all of these things separately at retail price, it would cost over $400. But Young Living offers it to you in a premium starter kit, all for only $165. Young Living has hundreds of essential oils to choose from, but for those who are new to the oil world, Young Living has compiled a premium starter kit with 12 of the most popular essential oils. This kit is perfect to get started on your oily journey and exactly what you need to have in your wellness arsenal. This starter kit also contains a diffuser, which acts as your natural air freshener, your home purifier, your wellness supporter, and your emotions calmer. Here are three ways to use essential oils, aromatically, internally, and topically. Um, Depending on where you're needing support depends on how you can use them. And don't worry, it's not rocket science. For example, if you're needing support for healthy breathing, apply over your chest and throat and inhale directly. If you're needing digestive support, take the Vitality oils internally to get the oils directly into the stomach and intestinal intestinal area. For skin support, apply on the desired areas. If you're still confused on what to use and how, simply look in a reference guide for details, like the essential oil pocket reference, which is one of my favorite books. Or just ask me or um, search our Facebook groups once you become a member. <clears throat> Let's talk about some tips for essential oil safety. Avoid applying directly in the eyes and ears. Use citrus oils only in glass or stainless steel containers. And I also use them in my ceramic coffee mugs. And deploy, avoid applying citrus oils like lemon to the skin if you'll be out in the sun for a long period of time. 
If any of the oils feels warm to the skin topically, dilute with a carrier oil like coconut, grapeseed, or olive oil. Dilute when using on small children or babies. All right, so moving on. Here are some common uses for our favorite oils, those awesome 12 oils in our premium starter kit. There are hundreds of uses for each essential oil in this starter kit. However, to give you an idea of some of their most popular uses, here's a brief overview for you. Lavender for restful sleep, healthy skin, emotional support, stress relief, and seasonal comfort. Lemon for removing sticky residue, healthy skin, mental clarity, and a gentle detox. Peppermint for tummy support, alertness and concentration, healthy breathing, cooling the body, head tension, tense muscles. Frankincense for healthy skin, emotional support, healthy cellular function, and it's also uplifting. Valor, you can inhale it for feelings of courage and strength. Um, our olfactory sense, our sense of smell, is directly connected to the limbic region of our brain where our mo emotions are produced. You can apply valor topically to the spine to, um, for proper alignment and even apply it over the nose at night in cases of snoring. Digize is for all things tummy and bathroom support. Thieves for healthy immunity, overall wellness, and it's a blend that is in, included in all of Young Living's cleaning products. Raven is for healthy breathing, comfort during winter months, and overall wellness. Panaway is for sore muscles, head tension, healthy skin, achy bones and joints. Peace and Calming basically does what its name says. Stress Away for everyday stressors, emotional support, restful sleep, and concentration. And Citrus Fresh is emotionally uplifting. You can use it to make water tastier and healthier, and it's also another gentle detox. Let me tell you about the Desert Mist Diffuser, because when you get your premium starter kit, you have your choice of diffusers. So the Desert Mist Diffuser and the Dew drop diffuser are um, your choices for $165 premium starter kit and then the rainstone diffuser is more expensive. I want to talk to you about the desert mist diffuser. It functions as a humidifier, atomizer, and aroma diffuser in one simple to use product. It uses ultrasonic frequency technology to generate waves at 1.7 million per second breaking down essential oils and water into millions of microparticles, dispersing them into the air, and releasing the oil's unique constituents so our bodies can benefit through aromatic use. Other diffusers that you might find on the internet or in stores don't use ultrasonic technology, and instead they use heat. Those do not allow all of the ther therapeutic properties to get into our noses and into our brains and lungs. The Desert Mist Diffuser also has multiple settings. It will diffuse continuously for five to six hours on high mode, eight hours on low mode, and 10 hours on intermittent mode. There are 11 individual light settings, including a candle-like flicker mode. The diffused molecules cover approximately 323 square feet. Um, and perhaps in the future, they might make more additional um, diffuser covers. Um, okay, the plastic used for the Desert Mist Diffuser is polypropylene, and polypropylene was specifically chosen because it is safe to use with essential oils. It is BPA-free, and it has no phthalates. The same cannot be said for any of the diffusers that you might see online or in stores. Let me talk to you about Thieves Household Cleaner. Young Living has an entire line of home cleaning products which contain the powerful Thieves Essential Oil Blend. One of the most popular products is the Thieves Household Cleaner. It's a concentrate, so all you need to use is only one or two capfuls of the cleaner mixed with water in a large spray bottle. With this, you can use it to clean your countertops, floors, toilets, mirrors, tubs, everything in your home. On top of that, it is safe to use around your babies, kids, animals, and elderly family members without toxins and harsh chemicals that could be damaging to the body. 
Here are some of our other natural cleaning goodness. Um, not only is the household cleaner ex extremely popular, the Thieves line also contains these chemical free options. Dish soap, foaming hand soap, Thieves and lavender, fruit and veggie soak and spray, laundry soap, hand purifier, travel sized cleansing spray and wipes. Switching your household cleaning products over to the Thieves line is the perfect way to ditch the toxins and switch it with something that will not only cleanse and purify your home, but support your wellness at the same time. There is also a premium starter kit with the Thieves line to make your chemical free journey easier as you start your new journey in using plant based products. So, this here um, is a picture of the premium starter kit with thieves so it has the thieves household cleaner two bottles of it which is going to last you a long time because all you need is one capful in a spray bottle glass spray bottle you put one capful of the cleaner in it you fill the rest with water and you're good to go okay also you have your thieves foaming hand soap you have two of them i dilute it um into so that one of these thieves hand soap bottles I turn that into three. I like put a third of it into another, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, you get your Thieves toothpaste. We actually have like, I think four different um, kinds of Thieves toothpaste, depending on like the flavor and stuff. We even have one that's whitening with, with natural stuff. Um, then there's Thieves spray for on the go situations, stress away essential oil, thieves essential oil, thieves mints, um, three bottles of our travel thieves purifier, which is funny because the large bot, it comes in a large bottle as well. And the large bottle is called thieves hand sanitizer and um, it kills 99.99% of germs. So that's pretty cool. And your two packs it package packets of Ningxia Red. Okay, moving on. We have stuff for kids and babies as well. There is nothing more important and precious to us than our babies and children. We cannot control everything that happens in our children's lives, but we can control what kind of products we expose them to, whether they are good or bad. And while we make many mistakes in raising our children, we know that using these chemical-free products from Young Living is the one decision we can make for our children that is perfectly right in every way. All right, we have a seedlings line. It is made for infants and toddlers, and it contains products that are specifically designed for the health, comfort, and support of our babies. They contain zero harsh toxins or chemicals, unlike even the most organic of baby products on the market, protecting our little ones and also perfectly functional for their everyday needs. Some of the most popular baby products include baby oil, baby lotion, baby wipes, diaper rash cream, baby shampoo and body wash, and linen spray. We have a Kid Sense line. It is made for children of all ages, and it's also a line of products that allows you to raise the healthiest of children without the worry of exposing them unnecessarily to harsh chemicals or toxins in any products. By using KidSense on your kids, you are supporting their bodies and protecting them in more aspects of their life than you may realize. Some of the most popular KidSense products include essential oils like blends that are specifically made for kids, Sleepy Eyes, Owie, Genius, Bite Buster, Sniffleys, and Tummy Jize, Bath Gel, Shampoo, Lotion, Mighty Vites and Mighty Zymes chewable tablets, um, so some supplements just for kids, Tender Tush ointment, and toothpaste just for kids. We also have so many supplements. If there is a nutritional supplement that you are thinking of and wondering if Young Living has their own version of that supplement, the answer is probably yes. Not only are their supplements top notch, they are all completely plant based, containing no added fillers, preservatives, or unnecessary ingredients. Many chiropractors and health professionals have praised Young Living supplements, saying that they are by far the best and purest on the market. Here are some more of Young Living's most popular supplements. Um, we have Ningxia Red, which is a daily antioxidant drink. We have Sleek Products for Healthy Weight Management. It's a whole line of different stuff. We have multivitamins, um, we have like our B vitamins, multigreens, mineral essence, master formula, which is our multivitamin, antioxidant support, super C, longevity and omega gyes. We have age-based nutrition, 
Femigen, PD8020, Estro, Prostate Health, MegaCal, and BLM, which stands for Bones, Ligaments, and Muscles. We have Joint and Mobility, Agile Ease, Cool Azul Pain Cream, Super Cal Plus, which is calcium and magnesium. We have System Solutions, Detox Symes, Parafree Soft Gels, Juva Power, Juva Tone, which are both for your liver, KNB, which is kidney and bladder, Allerzyme, and Sulfurzyme. We have targeted support like Comfortones, Digest and Cleanse, Essentials, Essential Zymes, Life9 Probiotic, Alkaline, AminoWise, PowerGize, MindWise, Thyramin, and Sulfur Zymes. We have like basically everything you could ever think of. Let's talk about Ningxia Red. The variety and selection of supplements seems almost endless, yet it makes it so easy to switch from your conventional supplements to something that is plant-based, infused with essential oils, and much more effective for your body and overall wellness. Since Ningxia Red is one of the most popular and most important supplements for everyone to be taking on a regular basis, there is a premium starter kit with Ningxia Red. Getting this kit will have you stocked up with your daily antioxidant drink and will put you on the right track of a great new life of wellness for yourself and everyone in your family. Um, I went to this because now I'm going to talk to you about our personal care products and I want to mention just some stuff to be aware of that are in other personal care products that you will find in the store. I found this website by Googling chemicals in personal care products. This is the Breast Cancer Prevention Partners website. So it is a science-based advocacy organization that works to prevent breast cancer by eliminating exposure to toxic chemicals and radiation. This is from that website. There are thousands of chemicals in personal care products like lipstick, lotion, shampoo, and shaving cream. Many of those chemicals are linked to breast cancer either because they are carcinogens or because they disrupt the body's hormones. While some of these chemicals are listed on ingredient labels, others are not because they are contaminants or they are hidden behind the word fragrance. Personal hygiene products are extremely necessary for our everyday lives. Some of the products we may be using from the store might not be cleaning us the way they, that we think they are. Instead, the toxins and chemicals lingering on the ingredients are dirtying Lingering in the ingredients are dirtying our body even more than it was before we used them on ourselves. Here are some of the chemicals that are in different products. So PTFE or PFOA are chemicals that are used in some anti-aging products. Um, PFOA is a possible carcinogen. Exposure to these compounds is associated with all this stuff that's bad, and increased incidence of breast cancer. Next, polyacrylamide, or just acrylamide, is a stabilizer and binder in lotions and other products. Um, it is strongly suspected carcinogen linked to mammary tumors. Styrene is a contaminant in cosmetics. It is anticipa anticipated to be a human carcinogen and hormone disruptor. It may be toxic to red blood cells, the liver, and the central nervous system. Phthalates, I mentioned them before. Um, it's a risk factor for late life breast cancer. And some phthalates also act as weak estrogens in cell culture systems. Parabens are a group of compounds widely used as preservatives in creams, lotions, ointments, and other cosmetics. They are absorbed through the skin. Some parabens are known hormone disruptors. 1,4-dioxane is a contaminant formed in the manufacture of ingredients used as sudsing agents in shampoos, body wash, and children's bath products. It is a reasonably anticipated carcinogen by the National Toxicity Program and the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Cadmium and other metals. Cadmium is a known carcinogen and has estrogen mimicking properties. It can be a contaminant in some color cosmetics and face paints marketed to kids. UV filters. Several UV filters used in cosmetics may have hormone disrupting properties, including 
benzophenone, homosalate, and octanosinate. These chemicals are used in a variety of personal care products, such as shampoos, sunscreen, lipstick, nail polish, and skin creams. Triclosan. Triclosan is used to limit the growth of bacteria and mold in personal care products. The chemical, which is classified as a pesticide, can affect the body's hormone systems, especially thyroid hormones, which regulate metabolism and may disrupt normal breast development. Okay, so Young Living saw that all of these products that we use every day contain harmful chemicals and contribute to disease statistics. Young Living saw this need, um, a desperate need in our world for good products that will like clean our bodies and help us to be healthy. And they have formulated tons of products that don't contain any of the damaging toxins that cause so many issues. Here are a bunch of our personal care products. Some of the most popular hygiene products include Thieves Toothpaste, Thieves Mouthwash, Thieves Dental Floss, Thieves Mints, Bar Soaps. We have like a whole bunch of different kinds um, of bar soaps. Lotions, we have several different kinds. Shutron Shave Cream and Beard Oil for men. Bath and Shower Gels, like a bunch of different kinds. Shampoo and Conditioner, there's like lavender, mint, and also Copaiba Vanilla. Massage Oils, we have several different kinds of those. We have deodorant, several different kinds. Bath Bombs, Lavender and Stress Away. And we have a um, Shutron 3-in-1 Men's Wash. I also want to mention, I added in here a picture of our raindrop technique kit. It is, um, it's basically like a massage. Um, it's like a particular way of applying these oils to the body and it's really, really good. Okay, um, here we had this picture in our presentation from earlier, but I'm going to talk about skincare and makeup again. Um, ladies who love skincare, beauty, and makeup, listen up. We pay big bucks on products to help us look beautiful, and we don't even blink an eye. One of the most toxic things we can do to ourselves as women is applying all kinds of cleansers, toners, creams, foundations, powders, and lipsticks that contain some of the world's most dangerous chemicals. Though they are found in small amounts in our beauty products, it is enough to cause some major health issues for us. Um, so Young Living has a solution for that as well. Young Living has an incredible line of skincare and beauty products that are not only good for us, but are ex also extremely affordable compared to other pricey and toxic items that we may have in our cabinets. Some of the most popular beauty products include art masks. Um, art, we have a whole art skincare line. Um, we have satin mint facial scrub, art gentle cleanser, Orange Blossom Face Wash, Art Life Moisturizer Toner and Renewal Serum, Sheer Loom Brightening Cream, Boswellia Wrinkle Cream, Essential Beauty Serum, Lip Balms, Rose Ointment, Sandalwood Moisture Cream, Wolfberry Eye Cream, Body Butters, um, Sunscreen Lotion, Lavaderm After Sun Skin Spray, and Insect Repellent. Also, let's talk about Savvy Minerals. One of Young Living's newest lines is their Savvy Minerals Makeup, which has quickly become one of the most popular natural makeup brands since it's released. Who here has seen the TV show What Not to Wear? Um, if you don't remember or haven't heard of it, it's a makeover show. The cosmetic artist on that show, Carmendy, uses Savvy Minerals. Unlike even the most well-known mineral makeup lines, every product in Young Living Savory Minerals is free from bismuth, talc, mineral oils, lead, parabens, phthalates, and it will not clog your pores or cause skin irritation. And most importantly, it gives you a flawless look, whether you want a sheer finish or an ultra glam Hollywood face. Um, so here are some of our most popular makeup products. So foundation, lip gloss, lipstick, blush, bronzer, eyeliner, eyeshadow, veil, so on and so forth. Many women decide that it's time to go chemical free in their beauty routine and are ready to throw out their toxic beauty products. We used to have a Savvy Minerals premium starter kit, but um, it's not available anymore. But if you don't yet have a wholesale account, you can always get the basic starter kit and then add on any of our Savvy Mineral products that you want. 
or you can always just get them at retail, um, either way. Okay, so you might be thinking, I'm beyond ready, but how do I get started? To get started with a wholesale account, you can sign up online at www.youngliving.com. If you are ready to get your premium starter kit or basic starter kit, click on become a member at the top right of the page. Okay, then you can choose your starter kit. So there are several different kinds. The one that you'll see as the default is our most popular premium starter kit. It is the one with the 12 oils and the diffuser. So you can see here that you can choose which diffuser you want, the Desert Mist or the Dew Drop. They're both included in that cost of $165, or you can choose a different one, um, like the Aria for, it'll be more money. Okay, moving on. If you want one of our other starter kits, there's this Welcome Home Starter Kit that will be available through the end of April 2020. It's $125, it comes with four 15 milliliter bottles of oil and also four five milliliter bottles of oil and this nice really cool um, oil rack right here. And or you could get your premium starter kit with Thieves or your CBD premium starter kit or your premium starter kit with Ningxia. All right. Or maybe you want the basic kit. Oh yeah, also I will just mention that you see these little tabs here. You can just click on them to get any of your other kits that you want. Okay, your basic starter kit. I did mention that before. Okay, next, after you choose your kit and you enter your information, like it'll ask you to type in your name and so forth, um, you will see this little part that's the heading is sponsor slash enroller information. So there are two different choices. This is one choice to click on. I was referred by a Young Living member and I have his or her member number. And then below that is another thing. Um, it's another choice and it basically says, I was not referred by a Young Living member. Click on this one that says I was. And then um, these boxes will appear. It's a place for you to enter the sponsor ID and enroller ID. Go ahead and type in 12361059 in both of those boxes. You will be joining an awesome group of continual education and support, um, as much or as little as you want. Okay, so and then from there, boom, there you have it. And you're, you'll be getting your oils and your stuff and you're good to go. Okay. Let's talk about another scenario. Say you want some of our stuff, but you're not ready to get a starter kit yet. Um, go to youngliving.com and then you can either click on products to browse our online catalog or use the search bar to type in the name or item type that you want. Either way, it's easy to find the products that you're looking for. All right, then Let's say, I just chose this as an example. Let's say you want to buy some Citrus Fresh. You know, you either use that search bar to type in Citrus Fresh or use the products and browse. You're on the item page. Go ahead and click Add to Cart. And then after that, scroll down and you can either continue shopping or click Checkout. When you're ready to check out, go through the steps again. It'll ask you your name and stuff like that. Um, there'll be a spot, step number four, referring member. It asks, did someone refer you to Young Living? Click yes, I have their member ID. Then please enter 12361059 for the sponsor ID and enroller ID, and then click continue. All right, guys. Last but not least, when the oils or products blow you away with how much better they make you feel, don't keep it to yourself. Tell your friends about this too. 
It could be the answer they've been so desperately searching for in their health, in their life, for their kids, and for their families. It was for me. I know it is for you, and it will be for everyone you know. Share it with them and let Young Living pay you for that referral. It's a win-win for everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this was a little long, but um, I know for me, it has really changed my life in a super good way. And I just wanted to share it with you. Let me know if there's anything that I can help you with and have a wonderful day.